Hello, folks, and welcome back to Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. As always, of course, I am Falcon, your host. And we are about to go in and do the tournament stuff, and then once we finish that, assuming there's still time in the episode, we will be continuing the, with the uh, main quest. Probably won't be time for that, but we'll see. Geralt, well, I'll be. Have you decided to turn my errand? Hardly. All jesting aside, here on a job, you in the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Rain Farn of Atre. I saw him just moments ago, a nervous wreck, stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less, as if that would aid his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nifgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt, I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since as it is we must both wait, play me in a round of quint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. Mm. Alright, I'll do it. Never turn down a round of quint. I have a feeling... That he has another reason for this, though. I have a feeling that he has a deeper, like, more specific reason for why he's interested in doing this. I'm not entirely sure what that reason is, but I'm pretty sure that he has some sort of specific reason for it. Oh, you're playing Scoyatel. Interesting. Well, I don't need all these decoys. Certainly not against the Scoyatel faction. Uh, I don't have any good cards here, really. Because I need, uh, spies, and I don't have a single fucking spy. Damn it. My two mulligans didn't give me one either. My mouse seems to be way too sensitive right now. I don't understand why it's so sensitive. It really shouldn't be. I think uh, something happened. I think my mouse is in the wrong setting, the wrong profile setting. Oh well. I won't really be able to do anything about it. At least, not right now, anyway. So, I guess I just won't worry about it. Uh, it shouldn't really affect me so much when I'm playing the normal game. It's just for playing Gwent here. It's not the best. I don't particularly want to play Gwent on camera, but, oh well. I really don't have any good, really, he might very well beat me here, because I really don't have any good cards uh, to play at the moment. All the stuff I can really play right now is pretty shit, really. Like, it really is. It's pretty crap. I really can't play anything that's really that great right now. I hate to fucking burn up. Use a burn on one fucking card, but. Unfortunately, I'm trying to force him to use up most of his cards right now. Um. Well, I don't have a spy anyway. Maybe give him this round, let him win it. Try to hold on to as many of my cards as I can. Past. Now do I? I think I try to win this though because I'll I'll win a card because of uh, I'm playing the Northern Realms and I'll get a card out of it. And if I get a card out of it, um, maybe I'll get lucky and pull a spy. And if I pull one spy, maybe I'll pull more spies. Yeah, no, it's not a spy, damn it. That's actually a good card, though, to have, so that'll be useful. Because that'll let me, I can throw that out and just, it'll pull a ton of cards for me. So, I can afford to let him win here. Uh, but the ideal thing is not only to let him win, but to make let him use up most of his cards doing so. Uh, 
I really don't want to play. Alright, this is actually not that useful to me, so let's play that. That's a really shitty card, actually, because... Well, that... I mean, I guess it kind of helps you because of the fact that you have three cards to my one, but that doesn't really do that much for you. To be honest, that was pretty much a waste of your time. Alright, I'm not necessarily too worried about trying to win here. I kind of want him to just use up all of his cards. Like, I'm almost tempted to just say, alright, I'm gonna let you go now. Don't want to do this. Alright, fuck it. We'll do it. We'll do it. That'll pull out a bunch of cards. Should give me the advantage by far now. Fuck! Oh, that was brutal! Oh, that was brutal! You only have one card left, though, so you're pretty much boned now. I mean, that doesn't really do much for you. And you have no cards now, so you're completely screwed. Completely screwed. And add insult to injury. I'll just play that. And uh, you got completely wrecked. I congratulate you. We shall swap as agreed. We've passed the time rather nicely. Lady Fifian should appear forthwith. I'm off to face my first challenge. Good luck. Okay, and what precisely is the first challenge? See, I'm almost certain that he was doing that for his own uses. Fair I don't know what that uses is. I salute you! The honor and duty of Tourney Patron have fallen to me this year. Fight honorably, so that I may bestow upon one of your number the Tourney's grand prize! You have sworn your vows. You have ready body and soul. The time has come to test them! Who the, oh, that's that dude, right. Behold Horm I was about to say, who the hell is that? But... Of the Mechtian royal line. His name's quite the mouthful, um, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him, new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Riffia, give us a bow. That was a bunch the of a target he must with his quarrels thread are red. May the better man win. Oh, okay, so he's aiming at blue and I'm aiming at red. Alright. And this is a timed event, more or less. Uh, competing against not only the clock, but against him. Ugly bastard. I will demolish all of mine, and you only got a handful of yours, so. I won that with ease. The Frithia has trounced his foe, pounded him soundly, immersed him in woe. What? This guy. Ew, what the hell is that? Oh, is that a special crossbow that I get or something? Your prize, sir. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. Thank you, my lady. Your old Rivia's crossbow. You die in hums when you're near. Interesting. Would what you are the other prizes? The other prizes? Alas, I cannot devote more time to you than to the other combatants. I have duties to attend to. Forgive me. Hmm. Fair enough. Yeah, there's some major magic My about you. My vibrating strongly can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. 
the fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. Unlikely. To lose Extremely to such as you unlikely. is a victory of its own. Whoa, what the hell is going on with your bow, dude? My congratulations as well. Thanks. No, but really, what's going on with your bow? Why is it freaking out? Good work. In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within That's it. That's you're right. A little bit Vivian's creepy. cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Well, maybe not cursed. Yeah, but let's go now. Affected in some way, to be sure. Cursed might be saying it a bit strongly, but she's definitely this is affected. Her tent. You must look in sight, search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. All right, let's take a quick look at the crossbow I just got. I figure out where the hell it went. Oh, there it is. Oh, well, it's actually more damage than my feline bow. Interesting. Doesn't have all the other shit that the feline bow has, though, so it's ultimately not as good. But is slightly more damage. Most interesting. But doesn't have all the other stuff, so at the end of the day, it's not as good. Although the experience with monsters really means nothing, it's primarily the armor, penetration, adrenaline points, and critical hit damage that are useful. We don't get anything else out of it. So if we were looking for just straight damage, it would be pretty good, but because, frankly, I wouldn't be looking for just straight damage, it's not so good. Now, there is one thing I want to look at. Um, I, I have gotten... Oh, man, what was it? One of the swords, I believe. Sword sword? No, I think it was the steel sword that I found for the uh, the new Manticore steel sword. Oh, you won't tell me what um, what the damage is on the other one. Or maybe that's because it's the same damage. It might be the same damage. It has better armor piercing, medical critical hit, but doesn't have all the other stuff. It only looks like it only has... Yeah, it looks like it only has armor piercing and critical hit, which is alright, but not that great. Because the other one, my one I'm using right now, has... Better critical hit chance, better bleed chance, uh, the attack powers, art sign, burning, dismember, that's all the uh, the runes equipped on it, so that those aren't relevant, I don't believe. I don't know, it might be better. I'll have to actually, I'll have to actually compare it. It might be better. It's not going to be by a lot, Long I don't marks. think, but that's it might clear. be. Not sure what beast left them. Just that it's big. Fair Vivian. Werewolf? Stuff's eyes within thy locks. Thy lips are like a thread of scarlet. Jar of concealing Could be. Like... How will magic it work here? Concealing ointment, you say? So she has food in the place. And yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. <laughs> uh... Throwing poor Yennefer under the bus. As perhaps she deserves. Salts. Hmm. Used to make compresses. Compresses? Someone approaches, quickly! You were supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's, it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seeks you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here. Very well. You are. Mm -hmm. Why were you in there? Uh, tourney business. Nothing ah! to import. Oh, but it was something to import. Is the back end open? No. 
wondering if maybe we could go in the back, but alas, it looks like a negative. Alright, so we're gonna go racing now, looks like. So where is my horse? My horse even on the line? I didn't see it. Not that I uh, could see them all. Gaze at the host assembled before us. Look upon chivalry's best and most storied. Come from far lands, here to seek glory. Hear now their names as I shout them aloud. Save her their titles of their presence, be proud. Palmerin, the Baron of Longfall. Linus of Metida. Rainfarn of Atra. Oh, so you are no party, okay. Of Dodimir of Troy. Troy. Gide of Wafren, in service to the Duchess. Delwyn of Craigiau. Count Ty of Dondal. It's only Jose one person from... And Rivia, a prince. Rivia. of Rivia. For Gregoire of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer. The faint power of silence, Tony champion from last year. Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregoire in a challenge severe. Does ignorance the demand a part in deceit? Does someone need telling how Tony's proceed? Uh, I mean, we should be fine. We know what we're doing. You for nobly born knights. Your knighthood came through the grace of my mother, me, Queen of Lyria and Rifia, whom you treacherously deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours is an offense to That's my honor. That's unfortunate to you. If you're done, step aside, Prince. The Tony's protector, the mate Vivian. Her beauty enchances both beasts and men. My heart is beating, dear right. knights. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory. Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the Tony, and only it. The time has come for you, Sir Knight. Mount your steed, swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious, soon steeds shall swarm like ants most in dustice. To beat time's passage, they'll ride like <laughs> this the guy's hell. rhyming what a is terrible. Behold, what a luck, what a tale. I, mean, I guess it's, I guess it's all right, but Before a God, it's just from Rithia come, Ooh. fast as the wind, bright as the sun. Alright, now why is my horse not... Oh, now it is. Uh, where am I going? Why didn't I pull out my sword? I didn't mean to pull out my sword. Screw that. Don't want my sword. Put my sword away. Stop your crazy silliness. Oh, right. I forgot. There is actually... things to shoot and things to be involved in here. Come on, go ride, horse. Go fucking stand there like an idiot. Yeah, I forgot. I have to. I have to attack the uh, the dummies along the, uh, the side of the road here. I forgot about those. The dummies and the targets. Particularly the targets, though, really slow you down. So I don't necessarily know that they're worth it. Oh, that was a complete miss. Come on, go. Go, go, go. Ride. Oh, shit. Why was so able to hit it? That's good. Come on, ride faster, you piece of crap. Oh. No time to stand here. Richard, good luck on the path. 
Uh, why does it split? I don't know which way I'm supposed to go to split like that. Move aside, you silly animals. Alright, so I've done four. There's five. I'm running out of time, though. That was a complete failure. I totally should have hit two. In fact, I basically did hit. I was kind of annoyed that it that apparently decided that that was a miss. Because it really wasn't. Come on, ride, ride, ride. Go, go. Seven. I need to hit this. That was bullshit. Fucking passed right through it. That was my own fault. I passed to the wrong side of it. A failure, a loss, a tragic tip. Let us hope with its sword he makes not a slip. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together, wine in hand. Lead the way. Hmm. Little coughing bout I had there. Well, that was pretty crap. Oh well. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty is striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early too to say be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might exactly. in truth look different than she seems? Only guessing right now. Precisely. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. Probably not the best of ideas, but all right. To Vivian, may you Still find get the too... means to aid her. To Vivian. Still get too drunk. Ah, uh, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you huh? do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. I'm more than a little annoyed by the. Oh, please. Her I will feed you that. Front to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel, then. Coward. Harsh. Mounted combat in the main arena. I challenge you. Uh, very well, you useless fool. Since you insist, if I must, I'm all yours. You shall bitterly regret deserting my mother's army once I'm done with you. Oh, you're an idiot. May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice. Let's get this over with. Quick. Three. Two. One. Missed. Missed again. Uh, pff, neither of us can hit the broad side of a barn. It's hard when you're uh, moving. When you're moving on the horse, though, it's hard to time it well. Which is why I lost the uh, race there, because I was having difficulty timing. Bullshit that that hit him, and that, that hit me, and, not hit, and I didn't hit him, too. There we go. Is cheating, regaining my health in the midst of battle? Probably. My horse, turn. You bloody idiot. Oh, you fool. 
Ow. Bullshit that that hit me. Oh, the, the hitboxes on the horse. When you're on the horse, they're just some bullshit. They really are. There we go. Gotcha. For reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. Damn it. You still going on about that? Oh, you're you an idiot. this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. You mean to say you had a secret mission set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh, I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to Jewel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do. Uh, fight me on the ground as an actual ground combatant where I'm actually more capable of fighting and see how quickly this uh, it ends for you. It'd be real quick. <laughs> I love how we just, we're just going right back to drinking like nothing happened. My heart I do wonder what would have happened. To this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, Private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as Clearly you a reference. Yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Quite obviously a reference to Gregor Clegane from, uh, um, Game of Thrones, The Mountain. An obvious reference. In his size, his name. Now, where is she going? She's we just kind of wandering your off. Before your last contest. You must help her. Sure. Where the hell is she going, though? She's just kind of wandering off. Ever seeking Lady Vivian, some kind of maniac. Oh, she went to her tent. Not that surprising, I suppose. All right. Is she even in there? Hmm. Strange. Was sure I'd find her here. Vivian's notes. Magic cream. Very expensive magic cream. For us, these things are kind of whatever, but... Hmm. Very expensive magic cream. Bird? What say you, bird? Flew off. Worth going after. Wh why? It's a fucking bird. Looks like the bird's leading me somewhere. Why is it worth going after? What does the bird have to do with anything? The goddamn bird. Can I get out of the water, please, so I can actually run? Where's it going? Birdie! Come back, birdie! You don't seem to be in any real hurry, bird. You 
You're under there. Pass this panther, aren't you? Hey, panther. How you doing? Stand aside, panther. I have not time for you. I have not the time for you. Where are you going, bird? Why am I still following you? It's just silly. Let's let you go. Come on. Oh! Alright, look. Look, Gwen, Gwen over here. Gwen over here. Gwen. I, don't, I don't know how they would say that name, probably. Whatever, it doesn't matter. That's not the time for you. I'll just switch back to the shield for a second. There's some. How many damn panthers are around here? They're in for real. Look, look, buddy. Got still time for you. Is that another one? Apparently you don't. Apparently you don't have time for me either. So it's, it's good. So I really don't want to mess with you. Whoa, boar, boar! Where did you come from, boar? I don't even know where you came from. I can't even figure out where I'm supposed to go now because I can't fucking see the. I can't just see. I can't follow the bird because I can't see the. I can't use witcher senses because we're in combat. Bullshit that that did not. Oh, there we go. Okay. okay. So apparently you can break through my shield. Which is some crap, but. Okay. Why are you attacking that direction, dumbass? It's not even the right direction to be attacking in. Alright, look, buddy. Totally do not have time for you. I told you this already. I just saw something too that I wanted to look at. Where was it? Wait. Duh. What the fuck? What is this? It's a quest of some flavor. Is about. Perhaps we'll investigate that if we have sufficient time. Because I don't know what that is precisely about, so. I don't really have time for whatever it is. Because we are, we're on a mission! Whoa, 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 whoa! Clips. Alright, where'd, where'd, where'd you go? Aha! I have spotted ye. You silly bird. Where in the hell are you going? The bird flew off over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave. It's probably not a very good idea. Just go just, just say it. It's probably a terrible idea. Oh my. What the fuck is that? You summoned a bar guest? That's some new shit. And you hurt too. Crap. What? Dot. What? The, what am I doing? Why am I stuck? Trapped on something. Regenerate quickly! Sometime this damn year! Oh, good. Just summoned another one. Oh, you summoned two of them! Shit! Wait. The fuck? How did I. How that happened. Somehow, apparently, I did. I killed you without killing you. 
I don't care. Alright, so what, if anything, is in this place? Anything I care about? Doesn't really look like it. Nah, looks like a negative, at least in that particular region of the place. Oh, it's a very short cave. I suppose it's a good thing. Hi, birdie. Keep going, bird. Why are you leading me off like a thousand miles from where we were? What the fuck was that? Sounded like the white again, but I definitely the thing was definitely dead. Where are we going, bird? <sighs> I guess we finally found where we were heading. That's we're in that cutscene now. Oh, be quiet, cat. Hush your face. Hush your silly fuzzball face. Oh, see, yeah, you're not a person. You're some sort of a... Witcher. I don't Lady know Vivian what. Counted on me getting lost. What are you? I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at tourneys. Hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. Here you come hmm. to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I want it done here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters. Yeah. And even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? not how she views herself, I'm sure, but... Uh, don't know yet. Afflicted by a curse. Well, yeah. I don't entirely know what you are yet, though. We haven't really determined that. Pretty sure you are afflicted by Most a curse, though. you've been cursed. Don't know who by or why yet, but hope to find that out soon. If you've no contract on my life... Why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me. Why not? Because I'm a freak, too. Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. Uh, got nothing to fear, really. You got nothing to fear. Came here to help you, and I won't peep a word to anyone unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. Well, so when she not was with child, on you, I'm gonna take it then. Me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Orioles sing. She would stroke her belly and say, My daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. Mm. And what did the creature parents look like? Describe the creature. They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. Fair enough. Well, what so what happened, happened after, after that? that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. 
initially only when the moon was full. But now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret, then hired you to kill me. In fact, I Not was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. Well, it sounds like that's what has already happened, because you're already turning in the daytime. So that means you're basically always like this. Uh, using them can be dangerous, that is true, but... Our use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses, or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason what I knew I would have to give it up in the end and bid my human Isn't... form a final farewell. Fair enough. Oh, it's a deer. Okay. Hi, deer. Why are you, like, on top of us? Well, I can try to the lift curse. the curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron, transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Maybe. Tough case, yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. Well, sure, but... You're quick to reject help. Uh, no, well, she wasn't really rejecting help. She was just rejecting... Inflicting this on someone else, which you can't really blame her. Uh, so yeah, there's another All method. Alright, there is another. Ancient ritual. We'd need an Oriole egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oriole. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. Yet, truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die. Yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the Tawny Grounds by now. Shall we return? Uh, yeah, we will. I'll go find that other dude that we ran into, that other quest along the way later on. That's... But are you gonna... Uh, yes. I cannot appear there all in feathers. Pardon me for a moment. I mean, you don't look that bad, really. You can change it, Will? No, but I discovered the water of this pool helps. Its effects are brief, but I can always be sure of them. Hmm, interesting. Come. Very interesting. I wonder... The effects of that water might actually have more... Something more long-term and interesting Did you learn might anything? come of that water. Yeah. Then speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? 
She asked me not to talk about I'm it. Afraid. But I want only I can't the tell best you, for her. Perhaps I should be able to help or I don't know, console her at the least. Oh, possibly. But yeah, I am sorry though. I promised her I wouldn't tell you. I wouldn't tell. Um I think we're not going to tell cuz we told her we wouldn't. And I think it's best that we don't. He wants to help, but we don't necessarily know how he will react. Vivian gave me the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why, I would do anything for her. I was the one to ask you to help her. You cannot shut me out now. I'm sorry. Look, in time Vivian will come to understand what she owes you. I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand the whole world doesn't revolve around you. How dare you lecture me? This is not the aid I sought. And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney to you, I regret it now. Do you even intend to compete to the end? Or now that you've bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need? Well, we'll continue with the tournament. I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides, Vivian will be busy till the tourney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. I feel like that right there was like a canned, like the canned ending to the conversation, regardless of what option you took. Also, I like how it was and definitely like the, the middle of the night, and now it's suddenly I be captain not. Of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonso That sounds like a terrible idea. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218. When a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's borders. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the barbarian Haller's men. Any questions? None. I doubt you will do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. You're an idiot. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. You're an idiot. I'm a better fighter than all of you combined. I could beat any one of you without too much difficulty. I could probably beat all of you. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight full tilt till one drops to its knees. Who hurts who ignores or lance blows unclean shall forever be branded as shameful, obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins the past champion shall face. All others must leave heads bowed in disgrace. All right. Let us begin. Count Resaracus. Blood, sweat, and tears shall soon follow in bucket. Oh. How you like that silver? From the right. Now, come. Succumb to death. Embrace. No, no. I'm not going to use any spells or anything because I consider that cheating for this. It's supposed to be fair fighting. Ooh, that was close. I also won't heal because that, again, I don't consider that. 
be, uh, fair. That was fair enough, though. Ooh. Did I kill him? The I think I actually killed him. A fight quite so glorious. For showing such fervor, each knight was victorious. Yet in tourneys as in life, but one champion may reign. Today, he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. Palmer in the Longfall and Gregoire de Gorgon, two knights of high valor shall fight to be champion. Geralt of Mythia shall not stand in La Belle. Though hopes he raised high, a victory short, he fell. To the time we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loves, your whomevers. Bullshit! I took out the entire goddamn enemy team! Seriously. Bullshit. I literally took out the entire enemy team. That's obnoxious. Oh well. Not really Ladies, that important. Lady. It's not like have you decided? the reward for the thing is not I worth have. it to me, so. I stand by all I have said. I wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg. If it's to be the egg of an Oriole, I know where to find one. There is a nest in my clearing. Might you explain the nature of the ritual? Its exact course? Sure, but... Seems your tense grown ears. Show yourself, Guillaume. Can hear you breathing, and I know damn well it's you. Why are you here, sir? This is a private audience. Geralt, what is the meaning of this? Is this some scheme you've hatched unbeknownst to me? Hardly. He means well. Guillaume's no foe. Though there's little honor in meddling, he meant well, means well. You guessed correctly. He was the one to hire me, but only because he wanted to help you. My lady, I live to serve you. Whatsoever you require, you need but beckon. I'm yours to command. Are you quite finished? Is that all you wish to say? I... I, I suppose so. So you shall do what I command, You're an idiot. sir. Very well then. Listen carefully. Leave this tent. Turn towards the Duchy's northern marches. And run. Run until the tawny grounds are no longer within sight. Return only once you've cooled off. Then leave me be forevermore. Understood? Ugh, that's a little harsh. My lady. Your, your troubles. I, I only wish the, the Witcher see. Out now! Oh, she's pissed. She's really pissed. I'm sorry, dude. You assured me I could trust you. I didn't tell him a damn thing. I kept your secret. Didn't tell him anything he didn't already know. I understand he hired you, so you had to report to him. But this is not his affair, Geralt. This is my life. Sure, but I didn't tell him anything. So I had nothing to do with anything. I didn't, didn't tell the damn thing. Absolutely sure you did the right thing? Not too hasty rejecting his help? Can't conduct the ritual using your reflection without him. Needed someone who'd willingly assume the curse in your stead. And you thought I would agree to this? No, Geralt. When we spoke in the meadow, you told me of a ritual which required no lusty knights to aid us. This is the method I wish to pursue. All right, fine. Oh, so so he would have. Um, I guess if we had told him and maybe handled that differently, um, he would have taken the, um, the curse instead of her. But yeah, I, I agree with her. It's not, don't inflict it on somebody else. Need to find an egg. Preferably an Oriole's. Ritual itself isn't complicated, but like I said before, there'll be a side effect. 
Still sure you want to go through with it? Yes. I saw a nest in the clearing where we spoke. But before we go, tell me, what will become of the chick? We'll have to break the egg. Like you said, not everyone gets a happy ending. And for a dream to come true, there must be sacrifices. Very well. Let us go. Hmm. Tell even the even breaking the egg she doesn't want to do, but alas. There's little choice in that particular matter. Not a whole lot of choice in that particular matter. I'm gonna have to uh break the egg, because I imagine the cursed chick would probably turn into some sort of terrible monster if it was able to uh, grow up. Alright, well, let's be quick about it. Stand back. I'll take care of this. Alright, look, buddy. No time for you. No time for you, I don't have the patience. Stand aside. Eggs fell on a moss patch. They're fine except for one. It's cracked. Will it do? Mm, I think so. Yeah, you might be able to use the, the the broken one that's already broke. Then you're not even really sacrificing anything. Now what must I do? Uh, let's not even ask her if she's sure she want to do this, because it, she's quite obviously sure, so... You need to concentrate now. Repeat after me. Muna gan drau. Muna finerat. Muna gan drau. Muna finerat. Muna gan drau. Muna finerat. Muana kandarao. Muana finerat. Kaboom. <laughs> Launched us both through the air. Damn it. Geralt, look. Look. Oh, gods. I shall be able to attend balls. I shall travel to Oxenford. To Novigrad, even. Thank you, Witcher. Ada, thank Guillaume. He's the one hired me to help you. Yes, I am grateful to him as well, immensely. Will you tell him so for me? Why don't you tell him? You should tell him yourself, don't you think? Perhaps I should, but I would prefer not to. Convey my gratitude to him in my stead. Please, be so kind. Why would you prefer not to? It doesn't even make sense to me, but... Alright, whatever. Sure, I'll tell him. Farewell, Vivian. I'm, I'm kind of mad that we lost the tournament, though, even though I... Uh... Whatever. I'm particularly mad because, uh, particularly that fight there. I mean, I wrecked everybody. I mean, I killed every single person. Oh, well, not killed, but beat every single person in the uh, in the match there on the enemy team. And yet, you're gonna call that a uh, a defeat? I don't, I don't know what you think a victory would be then, because I beat everybody. Like, what do you expect for a victory? The only thing it is that I can think of is because I failed the race, because I fucked up the race. Oh, where the hell am I going? Where are we going, horse? 
What madness do you, do you seek to engage hey, in? Yeah. Seriously? Come on, horse. Hey, there. Come on. It's a small little hill. You can do it. It's not that hard. Oh my god, you're an idiot. Go, Come go. on. That is not the direction that I just told you to turn. Faster. Uh, idiot. Those little bridges, though, do not, the horse does not go over them very easily. Well, Guillaume, rest assured that Vivian is fine now. Well, well as fine as she's going to be anyway, I suppose. Uh, wait. And I think that is best, really, because... Um, like, Guillaume was obviously intended to be the, 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 what? What the hell is everybody crying about? Baseness reigns where virtue once ruled. Breed and last. Wisdom, Why stripped of all are... that is noble. Thou shalt not muscle the mouth of truth. The gods have set the base I, I don't... I don't even have words for you. So I'm not even going Garrett, to uh, what have you say anything. Managed to lift her curse. Cured. Truly? So all will be well. Her troubles are done? Indeed. Asked me to she give asked him a, me message. To pass on a message. Said she's grateful. Thanks to you, she can live a normal life. Good, good. But how does she fare? There's no sense in telling him that she might not live very long, so we'll just say she's Vivian happy. chose what suited her best. She's completely free now. And happy, I think. Without me. You helped her, but that doesn't mean she owes you her love. Got this bard friend, philosopher totally too, I guess, amateur. He'd say, if you love somebody, set them free. Do you know what, Geralt? You earned your reward, so take it. But keep your advice to yourself. Adieu. Damn. Damn, friend, you don't need to... I mean, all right, all right, all right. I understand your, I understand your anger. I do. It makes sense, even. But come on, man. What about what though? Something about my victory and or not victory and something or other. Oh, you guys do have some interesting, uh, uh, like random conversations that they say though. I do like that. Me. They don't just, you know, talk useless things. Uh, it is actually, they actually say stuff that's actually relevant and useful. I'm just gonna sell this, even though it's not. It is a pretty good weapon, but it's not really. I don't think it's really worth it. I will keep that just because it's part of the set, and the set is pretty cool. I'll sell the others. There's no point in keeping them really. What? Wait, what? Why is my crossbow not equipped? Alright, whatever. Um. Like. Wait, what the fuck? Alright, because we're wearing the, uh. The, the one armor right now. Why am I missing. I actually did not have as much stuff to sell as I thought I did. I thought I had a ton of stuff, but I guess I don't. Which is actually mildly annoying, because I really did think I had a whole bunch of stuff on me, but... I mean, it's not that big a deal, but it is annoying. Tis annoying. 
I did manage to acquire a ton of these, so I could sell a bunch of these to make back some of the money that I used to have, since I ended up having to give up so much money to be able to, uh, buy all this armor, all my new improved armor and stuff. So let's sell that everything, let's sell myself down to uh, 40 of each of these, because there's really no reason to have more than that. Don't even really need 40, but even so, I'll go ahead and sell, I'll keep 40 of them. Just because, should I end up needing them at some point, that is a good quantity to have, I figure. Okay, and then I have to repair my gear, because basically the entire reason I came here was to repair the gear. I guess I could just repair everything. Uh, what if I want to repair... Damn, the, uh, the armor is expensive to repair. I don't bother to repair these because they're not... They're not gear that I intend to actually wear. So there's no point in really in repairing it. So long. So I won't bother, but... Okay. I actually kind of like this armor. It looks pretty cool, but... But, despite that, we're gonna go back to our real armor. As cool as it is, it's not the armor that I want to be wearing. I want to be wearing my actual armor. I am, however, definitely going to keep this armor. Uh, because it is pretty neat. Okay, folks. Oops. I forgot to re-equip the... that. Alright. Anyway. As I've been about to say, thank you for watching. Um... Next time we will do the main quest here, uh, but in the meantime, I am going to head out, so I will see you all next time. Take it easy, have a good day, uh, like and subscribe, of course, if you enjoy my stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.